In a rapidly evolving food supply chain, future-ready staff are fundamental for sophisticated, sustainable, and healthier food production. I think the future of food tech is constantly evolving. Developing technology and products is not just about the tech, it's not just about the systems, it's really about the people. We are spearheading, we are leading the innovation. We are trying to optimise all technologies while trying to come up or study the new emerging ones. Singapore Polytechnic has a strong industry collaboration within its learning environment. It's developed a Future Food Innovation District, or FFID, building a talent, research and learning facility pipeline. Its latest innovation, a joint effort between the School of Chemical and Life Sciences and the Food and Innovation and Resource Centre, creates industry partnerships and fosters technical innovation. Food Innovation and Resource Centre, in short FIRC, was actually uh, initiated by both Enterprise Singapore as well as uh, Singapore Poly back in 2007. The first poly that provides a diploma in food science and technology. Hence, naturally, uh, we continue to cement ourselves in food innovation to actually help the industry to grow. From unique facilities to new career pathways, FFID's goal is to extend the capabilities of the School of Chemical and Life Sciences and FIRC, connecting companies with resources and talent to expand their capabilities in future food and beyond. We hope to provide a one-stop solution uh, to our industry partners through collaborative uh, projects with the students, with the faculty staff. We also have incubation spaces. Once our Future Food Lab is ready in uh, quarter four this year, the FFID aligns with the Singapore government's multi-agency initiative, SG Food Innovate, aimed at growing Singapore's food industry by providing these shared incubation spaces. DFST's unique Byte Plus Industry Now curriculum provides up-to-the-minute learning where students are ready for industry through their resulting Diploma in Food Science and Technology. So we get to work on um, actual industrial projects. We not only meet clients' demands, but we also learn from each other. So I think that's a, a kind of experience you will not be able to get anywhere else. Innovators in the food industry say FFID is proving fundamental to their business growth. Raymond Tam, founder and MD of Microcell, focused on the bioproduction of natural plant-derived ingredients, is collaborating with Singapore Poly. Startup companies like mine need more than just a space. What we need are expertise, what we need are students that we can train and also to learn from so that we can actually take a technology, demonstrate that it can produce a product, test the product, and especially in food to make sure it actually tastes nice and has a great mouthfeel, um, and eventually to actually sell the product in the market. As we know, startups are very tied in their resources, especially at the onset, providing incubation spaces and an opportunity to build a future talent pipeline for their own company is so crucial to accelerate, to bring their innovation, uh, their ideas, to the market uh, in a shorter period of time. Deploying techniques like high moisture extrusion, where textures of plant-based products mimic the texture of meat, and creating optimum flavor profiles are amongst the latest innovations being explored at FIRC. As well as industry partnerships, courses promote collaborative learning with students mentoring one another at various stages of their studies. I think it will be exciting to contribute towards the alternative proteins sector as well as maintaining or improving the food sustainability and security in Singapore and subsequently Southeast Asia and the world. We have one and a half years of work-based learning exposure which then we hope to inspire them to look forward to the pursuit of joining the industry the moment they graduate or even before they graduate they have already built their network with the industry by all these innovative projects which they look forward to do in the near future. What I really enjoy about this program is that when we are in the year three, we are doing our internship program here in Food Innovation and Resource Centre. So wherever we have learned from the respective technologies, we are able to impart that same knowledge or skill sets to the new intake of the Bike Plus Industry Now curriculum students. Locally, the program aims to help Singapore with endeavours like 30% local food sustainability by 2030. So we welcome as well uh, companies uh, like MNCs or even startups from overseas who want to venture into Asia context to come and work with us. For local companies, they will be able to create new products that's actually in trend, meeting the needs of the consumers, or even uh, leveraging on our expertise to enter into Asia market. When looking ahead to a future-ready food industry, 
Key directions stand out for the Singapore Poly team and their partners. When we talk about sustainability, there are two areas we'll be focused on. One would be alternative protein. The second one will be side stream valorization. An example for side stream valorization would be using a spent ingredients, extracting higher value components out and reintroduce into the food supply chain. For innovation in food to really happen, it needs to be a place where the culture of innovation exists. It's a place where people actually come together and say, hey, what needs can we meet? What problems can we solve? Open environment, no rights, no wrongs, just to innovate and make great tasting food out of it.